Good morning, guys. I look like the queen of Sheba in my <laughs> headscarf. Um, <clears throat> hey, it's Melissa Johnson. I'm an actress living and working in LA. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just been participating in Vida video every day, August. It's been super fun. We, I think we're almost halfway there, which is kind of kooky. Um, it is Monday, August 8th, and... I still haven't gone out of bed yet. I mean, I got out of bed to get like a bowl of cereal, but I've literally just been just lounging, watching YouTube videos. Um, and now I need to finally get up and be productive. So I made myself some coffee. Um, let's see, what do I have to do today? I have to edit a ton of videos today. I have to take a COVID test for work. I have to um, clean my room. <laughs> straighten my hair and or dye it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna refresh my color and like wear it for a little while or if I just want to like straighten it and then put braids back in which is what I'm leaning towards right now so we'll see how that goes later today um and then I think I've just got a bunch of like logistical things like emails and writing and blah 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 so it's gonna be one of those days <laughs> Um, but it's good. We're, we're gonna accomplish things. We're gonna be productive. It's gonna be beautiful. So, let's go do that. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get my, um, videos from my phone to my laptop so I can free up space on my phone. Um, because some of them are, like, really long and I had trouble trying to airdrop them because I don't have enough space on my phone to, like, do the processing that it takes. Uh, but it's not working, so I think I'm just gonna have to, like, airdrop them bit by bit and, like, delete and free up space as I go, which is gonna take forever, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do to get where you wanna go, so <laughs> I'm gonna do that really quick. And then my next project, besides cleaning my room, <laughs> is taking care of this spot on my wall. So my bed used to be against that wall, and so I just didn't finish the pink going all the way down. But now I've been using it as like a backdrop for stuff, and so I ordered a new roll of pink to go down here. And then these patches are just covering some stickers that I had put up there um, next to my bed. So I think covers up holes, I don't know. So I'm going to be patching all that, and then taking that and either putting it on top of my dresser or on top of my desk. So, project time! So I went ahead and got dressed because I am having coffee with a friend in like 45 minutes. Um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle this strip and um, uh, if I can find scissors. And then I cleared off my desk and dresser so that I can do this too. So let's try this. Yeah. So I was like gonna try to like <laughs> instead of measuring it up, he's just like cut it like an exacto knife. Clearly it did not work. So instead I'm going to actually like do a separate little piece and cut out a little area for the what do you call that? Socket plug thing. Um so I'm gonna do that really quick and then see if I have time to do my desk. So even with saving that little chunk, 
of wall. I still don't have nearly enough to do my task. So I'm gonna have to order another roll for that. Um, I turned it on my light. That's why you've got this crazy lighting because I only get like an hour and a half. I get sunlight in my room a day and then it's like this. Like it's not even 1 p.m. and it's already so dark. So let's go cut off this tiny piece. dye came off on the strip oh my gosh anyways um because i had stickers here which were covering like places on my wall like this where like i'd scuffed it up are you guys crooked don't be crooked um anyway so i'm going to use these little hearts that i just cut out to cover these places so that when i use my wall as a backdrop all you'll see is pink Oh my god, I'm just realizing that this new, dang it, roll is a darker pink. I literally ordered the same one. Well, I can be more annoyed on another day. it is a different color pink it's gonna stand out instead of blend in so i've got to figure out a different solution we'll be right back all right that's gonna have to do for now i'm gonna clean up really quick um and i've got to be out of the house in 15 minutes to make it on time for tea so Let's do that. Hey guys, I upgraded to a little dash cam thingy. I'm realizing I should have pushed it off a little more to the side because you get nice steering wheel view, but you know what? I'm just gonna say you're welcome and we're gonna live with it. Um, let's go to tea with my friend. Okay, so I'm in a stoplight. 
immediate pros and cons of this dashboard phone holder thing. Pro, I can do, you know, video size clips recording. I can even record when I'm driving, but I'm not doing that. But you know, I could. But major con, it's like sitting right in the direct sunlight. So I feel like my phone is just gonna heat up really easily, especially on long drives. Like my normal thing, oh, I don't know where it is. It's like, it's broken. It like got really loose all of a sudden, but it's like this thing that you clip into um, your vent for your AC. And the great thing about that is like, when your AC is on, it's blowing cool air on your phone, so it doesn't overheat. But like when it's like this, I feel like it could overheat so easily. Um, but I don't really have a choice because this doesn't really work anymore. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I just I just have to give you that little update tidbit. Lights about to turn. <laughs> I feel like whenever I put on any colored lip, I look like my mother. Which is not a bad thing. I just find that very interesting. Passersby. Hey, back on actor. <laughs> oh, just waiting for my friend to arrive. And we're gonna catch up and chat. My glasses are so dirty. No one ever talks to you about. How difficult it is to wear glasses, sunglasses, any kind of thing, headbands when you wear a wig. Like, people should know that. So you're welcome. Oh, guys, that was so, so nice. Well, I just look so sweaty and gross. It's fine. Um, I got to hang out with a friend who was like literally the only redeeming quality from one of my master's programs. Like the program was just so stressful and I'm not even gonna go into it. I almost quit. I had like, I think like six weeks left and I was gonna quit and then a friend, and I was like, you know, it was draining all my money and I wasn't able to work because of it. So I was so poor. One of my friends, just like a former um, pastor of my church actually, uh, lent me the money to pay for my last semester or to pay my rent for my last semester so that I could go. And I met this friend literally the last month of the program. And she has just been such an invaluable like resource and a source of mentorship and friendship and just joy in my life. So it was really great to reconnect with her after so long. Um, I just stuck my finger in old gum that I meant to throw out and now I'm covered in stickiness. Clean out your cars, folks. That's word to the wise. Okay, so I'm gonna head home. I think I finally decided what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'm going to go ahead and not bleach my roots, but dye it all to hopefully cover the gray hairs that have been growing in, as well as refresh my color. Um, and then in a couple of weeks, I will put my braids back in. That is the current plan. That's what we're gonna go with as we head home. So, um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm home now, oddly, um, watching a Funny My Love video because I adore her. And I'm cooking. Come see what I'm cooking. Oh, gosh, the lighting up that window was just beautiful. Um, so I was driving back and I was like, ooh, I'm like craving a burrito bowl. Let me stop by Chipotle. And so I start like making my order in a cart and I like get to the end and it was like $20. I was like, I could literally go to the grocery store and make this and then have enough to make more later <laughs> for the same price. So that's what I did. So I saw, I was just gonna buy chicken and I have rice, but then I saw this home chef meal. I love these things at Ralph's. They're like, so I sort of got chicken and rice and then, you know, bonus veggie on the side. I got guac, mole, I got lettuce, I got some chips, um, I got some black beans. I got like another little thing of like like a fajita thing for like peppers and onions um yeah i'm gonna put all this together and like once i finish heating it up and have myself a delicious bowl and then probably have more like tomorrow for basically the same price that i would have paid for one bowl at chipotle so you know balling on a budget <laughs> um as you can see i took my wig off because 
I I decided not to bleach my ed my roots because I think I'm trying to make the hairstyle a little bit more sustainable. So instead of like bleaching it and dyeing it every month, I'm gonna try to like let the black grow out a little bit. Um, but the reason I started dyeing my hair in the first place, these lovely little gray hairs, which are fine. I love gray hair, but I also tend to play younger than my actual age. And I can't do that with gray hair. So I'm gonna refresh the color and hope that the, gr that the black goes a little bit more red and that the grays go totally red <laughs> so that you, I don't look like I'm 10 years older than I am. Um, microwave finish, let's go eat. You guys, tell me, how good does this look? Like, come on, Chipotle who? I am gonna finish watching Freddie My Love and enjoy this beautiful one. And then finally get to my hair, so uncomfortable in that environment but yeah i love these bottoms they're so nice they're actually dark brown they're from out of nowhere i mean they're very fluttering and comfortable and i just really like the color of the dark brown it feels a bit more me than black um, and then this top i actually just got from this brand called um girlfriend collective and i actually picked out a few tops in this color because they just they just have such lovely like elegant cuts um, they don't look like a typical kind of sports bra top that you'd like typically wear to the gym. It feels a bit more chic, I think. I really love the neutral, like, off-white color. They're super soft and comfortable. They're not, like, very supportive. So I think if you need, like, more support um, around your bust, then these probably wouldn't be great, but I don't really need a lot, so they're really good for me. Um, and yeah, for my trainers, I think I was going to be able to see. Hello. Hair is processing and I'm on Hancock because in my opinion, Hancock walked so that the boys could run, so. All right, so color has been refreshed. I did not do the roots um, and luckily the red did cover the grays, so mission accomplished. Wow, I look like rough. I also look like it the way that I did when I was transitioning from, um, relaxer so it's kind of funny that that's what the dye essentially has done to my curls because here where i cut my bangs the curls are like popping and down here it's like hello strings my old friend anyways i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to blow dry tonight or like just try to put like some leave-in conditioner in and um let it sit a little bit because i know i need some moisture so yeah maybe that i don't know We'll see. I'll let you know what I decide. <laughs> Not me looking like Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> well, friendships, we've reached that time again. It's time for me to go to bed. Um, I'm back in my Queen of Sheba garb. I'm also realizing that the sound might be not as great because every time I hold my phone, I'm like covering the speaker thing. Or I should I should really get like a one of those fancy YouTuber holder things tripod. Wow, Melissa! In my defense, it's late <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to I think really quickly figure out some outfits for an upcoming video. Um, and then I'm going to get into bed. I'm trying to get into bed a little bit earlier today um, than I've been doing because I've been going to bed at like 11, 12, which is really late for me. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for following along with me today. Um, Semi-productive day. Finally got to touch up my hair. Finally back to being a redhead and not a muted blonde. <laughs> um, I think it was a good decision to not do my roots because hopefully that'll just make it grow in a little bit better um, and I won't have to worry about touch-ups as often. So I'm going to straighten it tomorrow and then you guys will get to see the final thing. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to see that. Um, I hope you had a great day, but if you didn't, I hope you have such a better tomorrow. Um, you're seen, you're known, you're wanted, and I'm so glad you're here. Um, check you guys out tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.